If you want to make a change to um, the auto hotkey script, you have to first go to the system tray and exit the auto hotkey application. Uh, then you can go to the script, make your edit, and compile the script, then run the script, and the changes you make will then become effective. What comes up next is a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial on doing just exactly that. This is how you make a um, change or an edit to the auto hotkey script. A little tricky, so um, let's look at it. Uh, top in the middle of uh, my desktop is the auto hotkey um, script file on the top uh, in the white background. The green background is um, the uh, program file so uh, currently it is running so let's go down to the uh, tray um, at the bottom right hand corner click on that and see that green key uh, that's the auto hotkey it is active and running let's uh, right click on it and exit so it is no longer running and just for fun let's highlight the green desktop of the key and delete it so now we're going to go um, right click on the white um, auto hotkey icon open it with uh, notepad and uh, so there's the script let's change this to john crawford 875 that's uh, when you hit uh, J. So let's go just file um, and save the file. Close it. And now what we're going to do, notice that uh, the system tray does not have the green hotkey uh, running script. So we're, we're just going to right click on this. We're going to first of all compile it. Then we're going to uh, right click on it again and run the script. Now if you go down to the system tray in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that um, the uh, green auto hotkey is running. Um, it uh, recreated the green icon on the desktop. So let's open up Notepad and see what happens, uh, whether it happened correctly for me. Alt J and there it is, John Crawford 875 and that's how I do it. That's all.